Hey y'all, what's up? Um, Apple here. This is kind of just a test video. I am, um, uh, well, I'm planning on streaming some Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, as you can see on the screen here, um, later today, um, but I haven't streamed in years. And I am um, just trying to make sure all my settings are good. So I'm gonna actually go back and, and watch this um, video, um, but I figured I might as well just post it if it ends up being okay. Um, I plan on later tonight um, or this afternoon um, by request by my beautiful wife uh, she is wanting me to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do some like flight planning here oh, I love I love this view this is uh, I so as some of you know I am living in Las Vegas I work for the uh, United States Air Force active duty and um, I'm in the process of moving to the beautiful state of Tennessee, Nashville. My wife is currently um, living in the area and um, I, it is one of the most beautiful places. And as you can see here, you have the, uh, the Cumberland River, um, which I cannot wait to go fishing in. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, what I wanted to do is um, later today i'm going to do like a flight plan where i'm just gonna like take off from you know who knows i'll take off from franklin and go to Smyrna and murfreesboro lebanon carthage gallatin hendersonville because um, both of us will be working in the nashville area and we're you know i uh, want to see how not only how beautiful it is but you know see what the the surrounding areas look like um, but because I'm doing that later today, I'm not going to fly here on this video. Um, I would rather, uh, just pick somewhere else. So, um, I'm not going to fly around Las Vegas because, uh, well, um, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Las Vegas to be honest with you. So, uh, I think what I would rather do is, um, Maybe pick some other fun little area of the United States. I'm not sure where though. Um, I've already done a video, I believe, where I flew in and out of um, Big Bear Airport, uh, which is my hometown, for those of you who don't know. Um, maybe flying around Lake Tahoe would be really, really cool. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of what would be a fun other little place to fly around um gosh i i do not know um i probably should have figured this out before i went ahead and did it but uh um it's okay uh things happen you know what i mean it, it happens it's all good so um gosh i've already done a hawaii flight before um done a big bear flight i you know i haven't flown around lake tahoe and i absolutely love Lake Tahoe uh, it is beautiful here so I've never seen these like these little bear paw looking things black bears wow so I guess you can see oh wow and it's got the, the live you can see the planes that are flying overhead and stuff um, so maybe I'll do something relatively simple maybe I will fly out of Truckee here in North Tahoe um, so I'll set that as my departure and then, um, how about we fly down to, um, this will be fun. So I went to, um, I went to college down here in Santa Cruz, um, and beautiful city. I, I love Santa Cruz. Uh, it is one of the most expensive places to live in an already very expensive to uh, live state of California. Um, I don't remember if there is any airports down here in Santa Cruz. So there's one up here, Bonnie Dune Village. Um, so yeah, you have the Monterey Bay down there, Watsonville. Maybe I'll fly into Monterey. That is a beautiful airport to fly into. So how about we do that? We will set that as my arrival. Um, now, from what I understand, there's like a way to, let's see, there is a way that you can, I think it's, is it the nav log? 
Yeah. So, you know, bear with me all. Um, I watched a video and this was a, about a week ago. So now I'm like, gosh, what, what, how do I, how do I do this again? Uh, I think that flips it. Yeah, it just flips it. Um, but there was a way that you can set it to where um, you can find out, like you can set it in your GPS to have like your, uh, say, your, um, ah, is it maybe you can do, ah, frequencies, okay. All right, I think this is where you should write things down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the ILS for this, which is uh, known as your approach. So it looks like they have two different approach frequencies, uh, 127.15 and 133 even. Let's just go with 133 because that is easy, unless I wonder if that specific approach. No, it looks like they both have the same. All right. Well then, let's go with 133. I have to set my autopilot for that. So 133. Um, I feel like there's. Is, is it not showing me a? Um, I feel like there's a way to show me. Uh, is it spacebar? Filters. Okay, satellite. You know what? Let's. IFR blend. All right. How does that work? Because usually you should. There's going to be like um, the way I've always thought of it from some old video games is you have um, waypoints. Um, but ah, is it R nav positions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So what I could do is um let's see it's not nav aids oh wow that's cool so the air spaces are going to show you where your air spaces are a little bit overly complicated for what we need but what i can do is i can set a waypoint for charlie and then have me that'll be when i start my um instrument landing um approach into the the airway there so Let's go ahead and um, add that. Perfect. So that way it does that. Um, I think I'm not going to really much worry about up here. I think I'm just going to kind of, I want to enjoy the, the flight a little bit. I'm going to fly around Lake Tahoe a little bit. Um, okay, so backspace to close. All right. I mean, this looks like a good flight plan here. Um, I love seeing the, I'm wondering, oh, they do. So um, with airspace, so you have these like these blocks here and it, it basically, it's supposed to tell you like where you can fly if you're like, say flying in a little Cessna 172, which is what I'm gonna be flying in. Um, and you have um, air spaces that are specifically, so you, you can't go above a certain altitude. Um, and um, that's to prevent little tiny planes like this getting in the way of giant airliners, which tend to fly at a much higher cruising altitude. Um, and um, when you go in on a major airport, so let's say for instance, uh, if we go in here to San Francisco International, you see there's the circle around it. Um, and what that is, is that these small aircraft, um, well, one, they have to get clearance uh, from the air traffic controller to enter that airspace. Um, but they also, um, they do that so that a low flying aircraft isn't going to just suddenly fly in front of a giant airliner that's in its on its descent into a um, for landing or for takeoff. Um, so yeah, that's what these big circles are here. Now the interesting ones are these red ones. These red ones are restricted. Um, so they can be restricted for numerous reasons. Um, 
it could be for like so like this one it looks like it's restricted probably to um, prevent anyone from um, interfering with whatever ah yeah Travis Air Force Base makes sense it's a military air force base so they don't want um civilian aircraft flying over a military air base where you know um maybe we're trying to keep our secrets and things like that one of the biggest ones and i remember learning this when i first got here to uh, las vegas and nellis um, air force base so this is nellis air force base here so we have this huge no-fly zone out um out this way as well um, it's restricted airspace, but the biggest restricted airspace is all up here. So, um, Indian Springs here is where Creech, uh, Air Force Base is. Um, oddly enough, they call it Indian Springs Airfield, huh? But, um, yeah, so we fly like our, our drones out of there. Obviously here at Nellis, we fly everything, um, but primarily we're a, a fighter aircraft base and we play all of our little war games and we do all of our testing and training in this giant red um, uh, area right here. So I'm wondering if I can, uh, let's see, can I make that look like a blend? Yeah, there we go. So, clones. All right. So as you can see, um, there's not much in this area there aren't any um, there might be like points of interest um, uh, there is this tiny little um, airfield out here but for the most part no one's allowed to fly in here um, we're flying training missions uh, mostly training missions uh, we do drop munitions out here and we have there's certain designated areas where I believe there's like literally nothing there um, and we will we will absolutely drop things there um, and simulate our training and everything like that so pretty cool um, there's like a, a map that I've seen that shows like every flight that's ever been done in like an entire year and this is completely empty like no lines of air traffic ever across this like it is a no-go you do not go there um so pretty cool um and oddly enough i didn't realize how like even it is here with monterey so cool anyway i'm going to be flying the 172 with a g1000 um avionics system inside of it and um yeah let's let's see if i can remember how the heck to fly uh it has been a long time since i last played this so uh let's Let's give her a shot, shall we? Fly. All right, so I have it set up to just, it should just put me right on the runway. Uh, throttles midway, so it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't die on me here. And, all right, let's see. And as you can see Pepper, you can see uh, Pepper back there, she's, my co-pilot for the day um, or my passenger probably more likely um, I don't tower think she's, Cessna Alpha yeah. Papa Papa Lima Echo at runway 29 are ready for departure departure to the west Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo 1 call west departure approved cleared for takeoff runway 29 -er. and I had to go with the yellow plane in cleared honor for of runway -er Cessna Papa Lima Echo honor of my uh, my wife and one of her more favorite um, colors all right so let's let's do this thing all right oh they, they got the oh that's cool showing that all right so they showed all my air traffic there so let's go ahead and close that um, it's saying you know my pre-flights all good um, Got my nav up here, which is also I can I should be able to change it all down there as well. Um, so, yeah, let's let's uh, give her a go. Looks like a beautiful day up in uh, Lake Tahoe right now. So, uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna disengage. I think. Let me see. This is where I needed to change this around. So let me put my myself there, or maybe maybe that would work. I don't want my checklist in my way either, or my nav log necessarily. It's a lot of like clutter on my screen here. 
I'm wondering if I can zoom out a little bit. Oh, that goes to him. You're not a way to zoom. There we go. I kind of like that. Uh, it gives me a little bit more range of view. I should be able to click this way to look to my left and look to my right. All right, that's cool. Um, that's my free view. I kind of want my yoke to not be in, in usable. Less clutter, the better. Oh, God. I don't know how I feel about all this like extra. It's kind of cool that it tells me what it is, but it's a little annoying. All right, anyway. Let's go ahead and zoom back out again, get a good view. All right, so let's go ahead and... Hmm. My throttle is in reverse on here. Uh, let's fix that. <laughs> Control options. All right, let's go here. Power management throttle. Okay, I guess the reverse axis needs to be on. All right. Apply and save. Okay, full throttle. All right, full throttle. We're going to disengage. There's going to be torque steer on this, so I'm going to probably have to hold my rudder to the left a little bit and release. Release. Maybe? Come on. Hmm, okay. That ain't working. Uh, let's double check my control options. And it breaks. It says it should be number eight, which would be that button right there, which is what I'm pressing. Uh, oh, that's like brake pressure, not... Hmm. So that is not what I'm looking for. Search by name. Let's try it. Ogle parking brake. Here we go. So scanning. Already used. You want to bind it? Validate. Yes. And then what I'll do is I will remove it, clear it, and validate. As my rudder pedal should be doing my braking for me. All right. So this is why we're doing this. So that all right now I should be able to do this. So give it a little bit of left rudder and parking brake off. Here we go. Oh, well, let's get up to speed. From what I can remember, you want to get up to about 50, 50 knots. And then you can start to rotate about 50, pull the stick up a little bit, okay. oh, well, yeah, it's been a little while, let's go with like, a little off course there, that's okay, oh lord, oh man, yeah, it has been a hot minute, alright, Let's make sure my flaps are up, because I'm wondering if that's causing, let's see, no, my flaps are up, okay, huh, all right, well, let's get up to, Tower Cessna Alpha Papa Papa, Lima Echo, continue for west departure. slight turn here looking beautiful kind of curious if maybe the Cessna is not so great at this altitude although my whoa okay I don't know why I did that um, she because she is not climbing no, well, yeah, she is. I am going up by 650 feet per second, or feet per minute. Not too shabby. But I want to fly over the lake, which, according to the map, should be this direction. So... Oop. Like, uh, getting a little bit of a 
crosswind here. It's okay. Yeah, I am super, super rusty on this right now. That's okay. It does say my fuel's at 50%, which isn't true. I wonder if that is um, just due to the fact that um, the fact that I uh, set the game to unlimited fuel. Um, I just don't want to deal with that. Uh, I'd rather just uh, have fun and fly and not have to worry about refueling or anything like that. So. Uh, Alright. She ain't the fastest plane, but it's kind of fun. It's still pretty cool. So, wait a minute. As soon as I get over this hill. Should start seeing that lake here pretty soon. And then I'll deviate back over onto my flight plan. But, you know, you gotta do a little sightseeing before you, uh, do all that. All right. Yeah, I think I needed to get my uh, airspeed up a little bit. There she goes. That's better. Oh yeah. And as we crest over this hill, you can start to see Lake Tahoe. Holy smokes, that is cool. Now, if I can remember, there's like a way. Oh, I don't know why I don't want to look at my seat. There should be a way for me to view this from the outside, and I cannot remember how to do that. Echo, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Tower Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo Frequency Change. NorCal Approach Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo is type Cessna Skyhawk 5 miles southeast of Kilo Tango Romeo Kilo 8,300 feet. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo NorCal Approach. Squawk 6517. Squawk 6517 Cessna Papa Lima Echo. So my co-pilot is uh, run by AI, and he's the one doing all that right now. Oh wow, love it. Roger Cessna, Papa Lima Echo. Uh, Lake Tahoe, one of my more favorite places, for sure. Uh, again, I wish I could remember how to change my camera to where. It, there's like a way that you could do it to show it on the uh, you could show it on the outside. But that's okay. Feels like I need to trim it down a little bit. All right, so yeah, let's trim her down. So trim, as you can see. doesn't like how much RPM I'm giving it, so let's bring that down. That's pretty good. Get level flight. Okay, that's not too bad. Although it's saying I'm losing altitude for some reason. It's probably because my angle of attack's a little low. But, uh, trimming is where um, the plane, for whatever reason, is having a tendency to nose down or nose up. 
and you can um, Our Cal departure southwest two four seven three heavy is passing five thousand one hundred feet climbing thirteen thousand feet. Southwest two four seven three heavy NorCal departure altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two radar contact continue. But anyway, um, it can uh, cause it to uh, nose up or nose down and trim will like um, like recreate a new center for the aircraft so yeah pretty cool but this is quite a view let me see if I can get that side up a little bit yeah very cool all right well uh, let's see if we can get ourselves on on our path here Generic 7 Echo Hotel you are one seven miles south Descend and maintain 8,400 feet. Expect vectors visual runway tree zero approach. And my phone is ringing, so let me just check and see what's going on. Nope, nothing important. Set that off to the side. All right. So. Descend and maintain 7,600 feet. Expect vectors visual runway tree zero approach. Generic seven echo hotel. I'm going to. So I want to get on my autopilot. So. All right. Now R O L A P P I T. Turn vertical on. Cessna Papa Lima Echo contact Oakland Center on one two seven decimal nine or five. Good day. One two seven decimal nine or five Cessna Papa Lima Echo. Goodbye. Oakland Center, Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo, 8,000 feet. Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo, Oakland Center Altimeter, 2 niner decimal niner, 2 radar contact, continue. Calm volume. So that's my heading knob. So I want to change my. So I'm hoping my autopilot doesn't run me into there, but I want to change my altitude because I feel like I'm about to run into that mountain there, which I don't think would be a good thing. So go ahead and disengage autopilot. Let's go ahead and get our climb on here so I don't smash into the side of the mountain. Get my bottle all the way up. Try not to stall it out. Not try and get too high. Or about a thousand feet a minute should be fine. It, according to this, it looks like I should clear it, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Ah, see there was an aircraft that's just going that way. I turned on full traffic, so kind of, yeah. Kind of crazy, but I believe that aircraft is flying much higher than I am. Just don't remember how to change what I want my altitude to be at. So that allows me to change my vertical speed vertical speed up and down all right so we're getting closer and let's see definitely want to be flying at like 10,000 feet right now I feel like um, huh Let's 
receiver. Ah. So I think if I wrote down 133 is the ILS that I want. Alright. Well, I feel like I should be able to trust my autopilot now. So let's go ahead and activate that. Let it get me in place. It is climbing, but this is at zero, which I don't like. Um, oh, sorry, one sec while I see. Right, let's see here. Toggle my menu. No, that ain't what I want. Okay, let's see. Procedures page. Toggle flight plan page. On route to Charlie, okay. Huh. Alright, let's zoom in. Looks like everything's going okay out there. That's like communication stuff. This is fun. This is fun trying to figure this stuff out. Altitude hold mode. Oh god no. See that was that was gonna make me go down because the altitude is set to zero. Which I don't want. Tuning. Okay. Ah. All right, so I can go there, and we can tune this to. Okay, I don't know how that works. Uh, so I want to go to 133, but it isn't letting me. Move the x-axis. To... Am I doing it wrong? So it said 133. Get what the other as soon as I hit one seventeen, I think it was like one twelve or something. I wonder if one was the nav and the other was the com. Darn, how do I? There's no way to pull that map back up, is there? Log maybe. No. Uh, travel to. Oh, that's like to do fast travel. Okay, I don't want to do that. Um, Not sure why the autopilot isn't automatically. Is it not in? Oh, there it goes. I needed to put it in GPS mode. But it's still. Should be veering to the left. So there's something I'm doing wrong. Uh, I don't know what FLC. I always use that as flight controls. Uh, I don't know what that is doing. Flight director, altitude, vertical navigation, back course. 
can change your vertical speed up and down. Okay, so I have it set to just chillin'. Huh. Um, maybe I need to pull up my... That's my map, my navigational map. That ain't helping. I wonder if I need to pull this map up. I did not expect it to do it that way. That was weird. Let's see. Let's come down here. Thankfully, I've got a long ways to go. But... Here we go, ILS, 10 Romeo, 110.7, uh, localizer, 28 Lima, okay, alright, so if I, 110.7, there we go. Go ahead and go back to there. All right. So that should be good. Still flying Central into Charlie. I'm still veering way off good course. Day. Which I don't understand why. One two so. seven decimal for Cessna Papa Lima Echo. Goodbye. Let's, let's see if we can figure out Norcal what. approach Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo one zero. What the heck I'm feet. doing here? So. Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo Norcal approach altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two radar contact continue. Toggle between COM one and two. So that's the communication. I don't care about that. Um, I care about my autopilot. So, uh, why is it not? I have it set to that. I don't know what pit means. Pit roll, I know what AP is. Right now, heading is off, nav is on, approach is off, vertical speed off, uh, flight director, altitude hold mode, vertical navigation is on, yeah. back course, nose up and down, oh, here's where you can select your altitude, alright, so I'm thinking I want to hold at like 10,000 for right now, although, Honestly, I don't even know if I need to. Um, but there we go. Now I can put altitude hold mode on. And then it should automatically level out. Uh, but it's still not doing that. And I don't know why. Okay. Let's keep working on this. So this changes my heading. Um, which doesn't really do much for me here. Yeah. Um, hmm. I don't think I need to change any of that. Although, yeah, because I, I have it set to GPS. Huh. Alright. I hope you all are enjoying me um, struggle here to figure this out. Um, looks like this is going to be a long, long video of Apple figuring out how to freaking fly a plane. Um, so, sorry about all that. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it though. So that says nearest. Uh, CDI. Hmm. 
And it's funny because I, I, I've seen... No. Yeah, see, I, the bearing is 187, but for whatever reason, it's not going in that direction. I don't know why. Let's see. Uh, okay, so you can't toggle flight director on or off. Altitude hold ain't doing nothing. You could do heading hold. That'll at least get me on the right heading, but I'm way off course right now. So the reason I know that is this line is way off to the side. So the heading select is working. Um, turning that on and having altitude hold mode See, that should be telling it to go there but it's not do I have to turn that on as well still not going nose up or down that's just changing that huh set how I want it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Light plan page. Get that stuff out of my way. No. Procedures page. Select approach. Is it 10R? Let's go see. Come down here. Zoom in on Monterey here. So you're either going to go at 10R or 28 Lima. Um, I feel like. Let's see. Let's look at a map real quick here. 10R would be going in, or 28, ah, looks like 28 is what I want, so actually, let's go ahead and, there we go, so 28 Lima is what I want, so we're going to hit enter, vectors, I don't know what mins is, enter, load not approved for GPS GPS guidance is for monitoring loading yes load approach All right. I'm wondering if it's something I did here so what if I hit enter on Charlie no uh, activate vector to final no not what I want it's clear Can't hit enter on Charlie. What if I hit menu there? Ah, activate leg. KTRK to Charlie. Activate. Ah, is that why my autopilot wasn't working? Let's see. Uh, let's go back to tracking. Zoom out here. Ah, it looks like it's finally course correcting. So I didn't activate my flight plan. Interesting. All right. Oh yeah, and 28 is the way I want to go. All right, localizer 28 Lima. All right, that's cool. Uh, does it have an expected? I know there's a way to see uh, when you're expected to get to your uh, said Maybe I need to turn that off so that way it's not holding my altitude at where I'm at currently. Maybe? Huh. 
Either that or I wonder if... No, it's not in there. Okay. Flight plan. No. Hmm. what the course deviation knob does here or what the CDI knob does hmm got some got some homework to do not gonna lie got some homework to do to figure this all out um, I think I'm running my engine a little hot bring that down a little bit get that more in the green well I also kind of want to just get there so it's just Screw it, we'll bump her up. Hmm. I have one receiver. I don't really want to listen to it. Uh, talk to the crew, that's kind of cool. Are one and two. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Looks like I can do a search. K N R Y. So if I want to do that one, I actually want to go to. One one ten point seven. Uh, too far away, obviously, right now, but that's okay. What is an ISO? No, no, no. All right. I still don't like how slowly it is getting back on course. Uh, it almost feels like it's just doing a straight shot to Charlie right now, instead of getting on this line. And I know there's a way to do that. Um, hmm. OBS, I don't know. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. It's like autopilot is doing its thing. Huh. O OBS. Okay, so I shouldn't have been on CDI. I need to I need to learn these acronyms. Um, uh, look at that, and it got the line all lined up. It's getting us back on course with this pink uh, pink line on my GPS map. But we still got quite a ways to go. So. Go to my IDENT page. She's saying that my uh, want me to squawk at six five one seven. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. Um, let's clear out of that. Echo. Your transponder appears inoperative or malfunctioning. Reset squawk six five one seven. Hmm. Hmm. Where is my transponder? It. That's it. Not down here. Cessna Papa Lima Echo verified squawking six five one seven. I'm trying, lady. I am trying. Cabin speaker PA. My comms. Cessna Papa Lima Echo ATC service. 
I'm sorry, ma'am. I am. I'm learning. I'm learning. Our approach Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo is type Cessna Skyhawk one two miles north of six Charlie Alpha six one zero thousand seven hundred feet. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo NorCal approach. And okay, now they want me to squawk two four two two. Squawk two four two two Cessna Papa I like Lima that. Echo. That's cool. Okay, I hit the item button and it automatically put that squawk in there, the 2422. Okay. Well, sorry about not doing it earlier. I'm still figuring this crap out. Um, I got my OBS going. It's weird that it will not change my altitude, though. Uh, there is something I am doing wrong. Uh, huh. My guess is maybe I am doing something wrong with it. There should be like a setting to where I can change what my vertical velocity can be set to. Um, and for some reason, it ain't letting me do that. Hmm. And I'm sure it's simple. I'm sure there's... I am just... I don't know what I'm doing. Just honestly what I'm doing. Ah. Uh, so that changes... Oh, shit. Okay. That made it, like... Huh. One eighty seven to Charlie. Um, it's my comm receiver, comm volume. Nose down and up button doesn't do anything. Light control. It's making it go up. Huh. Oh, wait. Vertical speed on. Alright, so that is... If you do, hmm, approach mode, vertical speed mode. Boy, oh boy, I've got a lot to learn. Let me tell you. I'll have to take a look at a. Uh, but you know what? I, I kind of wanna, because I think I'm still pretty freaking far away. I mean, I've come a long way here, as you can see, but um, kind of uh, this, this video is already at almost an hour right now. So let's uh, let's see if we can get to descent. We'll travel there. We're gonna go ahead and skip ahead, get my land on here, check this video, make sure everything sounds good, everything looks okay. Um, and all of that so that way I should be good to go for streaming tonight I'm gonna to check my phone real quick all right all right let's see here 
Ready to plow. NorCal approach Cessna Alpha Papa Papa Lima Echo is type Cessna Skyhawk 8 miles southeast of Charlie November Niner Niner 8500 feet. Request flight following. Let's go to the approach actually. See if I can get my autopilot to get me on a good ILS here. Fly. Oh shoot! I am. What is going on? Oh my God! It just put me on. Not what I want. Okay, I need to pull that way the heck down. Well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to have an ILS approach. So the runway should be off to my right here. Uh, caution. Something's going on. Uh, I don't want that. Let's get off that. All right. Uh, let's see. I thought I'd do autopilot, but I will do heading instead. Turn that off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, not heading. Um, all right, autopilot, you're you're getting turned off. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting it to just throw me at the next to the uh, airport. Not what I wanted. I wanted to come in on an ILS approach. Because this is my first time trying to learn how to do that. Um, One ten point five is the ILS approach. Obviously, it's behind me, as you can see. That is okay. I'm just I'm wanting to go down and loop back around here at some point. Let's turn flight director off. Vertical nav off. Bump up this bad boy. I am. I don't like my altitude right now. A little too close to the ground. Probably do approach mode when I go ahead and do this, but for right now. It says low fuel. I have it set to unlimited fuel, baby. I don't know why it's doing that. So I want to do autopilot, but on approach mode. What is it on right now? Flight director off. It's turned my okay. Vertical nav on. Approach mode. 
Why will approach mode not work? What am I doing wrong right now? I have it set to that nav right now. It is selected. I have it set on the localizer there. Which is absolutely showing me coming in. Autopilot on. Approach mode won't work. I don't know why. Yeah, turn the flight director off. All right, let's just see what happens. Is it because I have it in OBS mode? No. Well. Maybe. Hooked up there. See the runway out there. But I'm not seeing. There should be like a little ticker on here for glide slope, but it ain't getting it. I don't know why. It ain't showing. I feel like I'm within range that it should absolutely be picking up on the ILS station, and I don't know why it ain't. Looks like I'm just gonna have to shut this bad boy off and come in on a normal landing. So I feel like I am way too high. I'm gonna cut my speed because I can absolutely see her over the. Let's see if I can pick up on. So. Why do you think I'm coming in a little fast? Gauge my flaps. If it'll work. Ah, there they go. Flaps are down. I am for sure feel like I'm coming in way too high. Oh yeah, I see the little dots on there. Alright, so let's see if we can just nosedive a little bit here. I'm gonna put my flaps all the way down. speed need to wash off a lot of speed I am still way too high there's four white dots you do not want that and I might have to watch a video on flying ILS again at some point because this was a disaster let's see if I can scrub off a little bit of speed there we go try and stall her out a little bit try and flare her out a little bit because this is this is sketchy as heck, y'all. I am coming in way too fast. Thank God this is a really big airport. So I think there's my get the red dots right at the last minute. Oh uh, yeah, coming in way too fast. Well, that's okay. Not a good glide slope. I can let's try and get a little bit. Echo contact ground on one, two, is zero, not my best. Flight. That 
that's okay though. One two zero decimal eight seven five Cessna Papa Lima Echo. Goodbye. Looks like speed down a little bit, going a little fast. Let's see a taxiway over here. Let's go ahead and get off the runway. This is the other thing I need to work on is my driving with your feet is just something else, let me tell you. And, oh, that's good. See, these uh, vehicles are just going to cut me off, so that's cool. Whatever, bro, whatever. I feel like that light shouldn't be there. What is going on? What is going on? Should I have parked back there? I don't even know. Stay on my taxiway for right now. Uh, um... I was going to park over here, but these guys are in the way. Alright, you know what? That's a hazard. Um, I wonder if I can just do a little U-turn here. Give it a little bit of... see this airport doesn't give a hoot about I don't know why there's a forklift on the on the damn runway all right anyway I will do a little bit um, better next time Whew, a little over an hour this is a long video long long video y'all um, my apologies but really are we gonna play chicken right now we're gonna go we're gonna play chicken yeah you're gonna you're gonna make me get out of your way I see I feel like I'm about to hit him this is stupid All right. I don't know how I feel about this airport right now oh my god really really you're gonna, you're gonna, okay. All right, all right. Let's just, we're gonna, we're gonna just bring it right on over here. And do what I can. I'm gonna park it right here. That's good enough. That's good enough. All right. Well, I have, I have my work cut out for me. Uh, it's obvious that I am. Rusty as heck. Uh, let's engage my parking brake. I think I need to, uh, yeah, cut the engine. I should have ended my flight, right? Plane set. I'm used to the game just being like, you're done. Pull the throttle all the way out, pull the mixture all the way out. Yeah. Everything should be off. Flaps. Pretty sure my parking beacon is on. Okay, magnetos are off. Bad 
battery is off. I mean, everything is off, so uh, I'm used to the game just saying, hey, good job, you're, you're done. Do I need to put my flaps up? Is that the issue? complete page okay, securing is good and then that's it oh my god okay complete Uh, so final approach should be 60 to 70. Huh. Magnetos. Cut off test. Mixture. Idle cutoff. Hmm. Can we just end it? Can y'all just... Huh. Weird. Weird. I swear there's like a way that I can... Yeah, let's just turn... I don't know. I don't know. Main menu. Yes. Huh. Well, it's obvious I need some, uh, I need some practice. <laughs> um, that was a lot of fun. I look forward to streaming this later. Um, I'm going to try and plan out some fly flying plans that are maybe won't take me nearly as long. Um, Cause yeah, that, that took me, that took me a hot second. Um, either that or I'll, I'll do like really short little plans. Like I'll take off from one place, land at another, and then I'll look at the map and then go to the next place. But, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you made it through this hour and like 20 minute video, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I, uh, I didn't expect this to take so long and I probably should have picked a much closer airport gonna lie um i'm gonna keep messing around with this try and figure it all out so anyway without much further ado me and the poop here the the pepper yeah 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 sweetie pie um we're out of here here let me uh change to the full screen here we go yeah me and my co-pilot are gonna uh see how this video looks and uh potentially upload it so without Anything else for me to say? I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for uh, uh, watching this video. If you've made it all the way to here. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Bye.